Hi there, you're welcome to Damien Rx Care channel today. Thank you so much for checking us out for your medication needs today. And we would love for you to be a part of our community here at Damien Rx Care. In order to do that, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. And also you can check out our free recipe to one of our diet plans here at Damien Rx Care by clicking on the link below and it will direct you to how you can download that recipe for that diet plan that we do have on our website. Thank you so much for checking us out again and please stay Hi there. So the medication we will be talking about today is the Tamsulosin. So Tamsulosin also go by a brand name called Flomax. So this medication is normally used in our male patients who have a condition called a benign prostate hyperplasia. So it's known, also known as BPH. And also this medication can be used in patients who have BPH in addition to an overactive bladder. It can also be used in patients who have a lower urinary tract symptoms. It has been studied in women who have a lower urinary tract symptoms in order to help. And it's it's been shown to have some great um, advantage or benefit in this patient population as well. It can be used in patients who have a neurogenic bladder issue or patients who have a ureteric stone. So what dose of this medication do patients usually take? So this medication, um, patients usually take a 0 0.4 milligram tablet once a day. I've seen some doctors prescribe this medication as a twice a day medication. It's not really used often and it's not um, approved for that, but there have been some research, like I said, ongoing with this medication and the doctor might decide to try that dose on the patient depending on what they're treating. Also, in terms of the side effect of this medication, the medication can cause joint pain. It can cause back pain or some form of muscle pain. It can cause weakness, headache. In male patients, it can cause an abnormal ejaculation as well as runny nose or an inflammation of the phary uh, pharynx, which is also known as pharyngitis. So what are some serious side effects that you want to make sure that you're letting your doctor know as soon as you start seeing those side effects when you're on this medication? So if you start seeing a consistent lightheadedness while you're taking this medication or a you know severe dizziness while you're on the medication as well as fainting, or if you start noticing a painful prolonged erection while you're on this medication, you want to make sure that you're bringing up this side effect to your doctor. That way they can see if there's an alternative for the treatment that they're using this medication for. All right, so what are some things to look out for while you're on this medication? So this medication can cause a condition known as orthostatic hypotension. And this is usually when patients have been sitting down for a long period of time. If they get up all of a sudden, they might fall back down because of that blood uh, low blood pressure. So usually they will advise that if you've been sitting down for a longer period of time that you get up slowly or rise slowly from sitting down for that long period of in order to avoid that fainting effect that happened from getting up all of a sudden when you've been sitting down for a longer period. Also in terms of this medication, you want to make sure that you take it 30 minutes after the same meal each day. So the timing of this medication is key. So like I said, 30 minutes, you want to take it about the same time every day after your after a meal. Um, also, in patients who are going to be performing any mental activity after taking this medication, make sure that you've taken the medication well enough for a couple of time to be able to fully understand how well your body reacts to this medication in order to avoid any form of dizziness or any form of fainting or any form of vertigo as well as sleepiness when performing an activity that requires for you to be mentally alert. Also, patient, um, 
should avoid a sudden discontinuation of this medication. So you want to make sure that you're taking it as prescribed and you want to make sure that you let your doctor know. Usually patients will start this medication, usually take it for a very long, long period of time. So make sure that you're you're not stopping this medication all of a sudden that way the condition that they're treating it for doesn't resume or worsen because you stop taking that medication without consulting with your doctor first all right and also in terms of this medication you want to make sure that you're reaching out to your doctor in order for them to monitor your progress while you're on this medication and see how well you're doing with the medication and also reporting this will also give you a chance to report any side effect that you may be feeling that may be attributed to that medication to your doctor during your regular doctor's appointment in terms of using or swallowing this tablet, you do not want to crush, break, or open the capsules in which you're taking this medication in. You want to make sure that you're swallowing the whole capsule with a glass of water, and it is not to be crushed, as I said earlier, or chewed. Thank you for watching. These are all the information I have for you today regarding taking this medication. I hope it helps. And if you're not yet done so, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. That way you can support our community here at Damien Rx Care. Thanks and stay blessed.